Guten Tag. Here we are again. Another session with your Sudoku guy, but this time it is another scenario. And it's a very important scenario. Remember me telling you earlier that the matching pairs are very powerful when you're solving Sudoku puzzles? Well, here's yet another feature of the value of a matching pair. And what I've got up on the board is here we have three examples. We have a row, we have a column, and we have a block. Let's look at this row. Ignore this section down here, but just look at this row, and I'll show you something that's really neat. If you look at this row very carefully, you will notice that we have a matching pair. Two, four, two, four. Now that's important because once you see two, four, two, four, you know that in that cell it's going to be a two or a four, in that cell it's going to be a two or four, so two and four along that row are going to be spoken for. Therefore, any other two or four is no longer needed. So that means that if you've got a four here and a four is already taken, you can erase this four and this becomes a three. Now, if you've got a two somewhere else other than the two four and the two four, that can be erased. Here's one here, two eight. You can erase the two, get rid of the two, and that means that this becomes an eight. Bang, we've got extra numbers just because of that. But look, it goes even further. Because we've got an eight here, that cancels out this eight. And we're left with a six. So what have we done in that process? We've now led to another number. Because we've got, we've got a six now, that gets rid of this seven. So this, let's be get rid of this, this, sorry, that gets rid of this six, and this becomes a seven. So wacko, wasn't that incredible? Just because we knew the rule, something like the rule of exclusion, that two and four means that other numbers, little numbers in that row can be eliminated, boy, does that ever make a difference. Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five new numbers, just because we knew that little technique. Neat, eh? Now let's try the column. This column is somewhat similar, but a bit different. And once again, it's a situation where if you've got three numbers uh, down in here, we can, once we solve one, we can usually solve the others as well. Let's look at this one. This column has a matching pair as well. It is a seven nine and a seven nine. Now the rule basically says that if you've got a seven nine and a nine in this column, it will get, you can eliminate the other sevens or nines if there are any. Well, it just so happens that there is one down in here. So we can get rid of that nine, so that becomes a three. Now because the three has been obtained, this three is no longer needed, so this becomes a six. Now that we have the six, it's no longer needed here, so this becomes a four. And boom, voila, we've got all those numbers just because of that little simple technique. Now let's look at this block over here. In this block over here, we have a seven nine again, matching pair. That means that we can say this seven is not needed. So we can er er el eliminate that seven, make this a three. And when we do that, now we can work out very easily from what we learned on the previous lesson that if you have one cell left in a block and you've got a matching pair, you can work out what that number is. And it's easy, I think. We can go one, oh, it's a two. It's a two. So we've solved extra numbers just knowing that simple technique. It's so powerful, and as you go on and further into this course, you'll be using these techniques lots more. That's it for today. Bye for now.